What's up comic and pop culture fans? This is James with Mint Hunter Comics. Let's talk about Facebook Marketplace. As a seller, it's been years since I even attempted to sell stuff on Facebook Marketplace. When I did, it was always a nightmare, either people pretending they had interest and then disappearing, or you put something up for a hundred bucks and someone asks, will you take $2 for it? And as a buyer, I tend to find the people that put comic books up on Facebook Marketplace are those people that have no clue about comic books. They will have some random comic book from the 90s and put it up for 50 bucks, even though we know it's worth approximately one cent. I just ran into a particularly interesting Facebook Market uh, buy that I actually had to swing for. Uh, it's kind of a funny story. Yeah, usually someone will put like uh, 10 issues of some nothing valiant comics that have like 50 spine ticks and be like, oh, old comic books, $100. Well, that's not dissimilar to this Facebook Marketplace purchase right here. I'll show you right here the sale, what caught my eye. It was the same thing, it just called old comic books. Old comic books, I mean, you're not wrong, they're from the 90s, I guess that makes them old now, I guess and they were being sold for a hundred dollars and there the first picture was just a picture of one random pretty ratty looking nothing green lantern comic from the 90s already off to a bad start well my brain said okay you know what let me click on this either i get a laugh out of it or maybe it's been so unappealing that no one's clicked on it and there might be something in here i'm glad i clicked on it because check it out. Yes, the first picture was a very unappealing, like one to two cent worth book, maybe even just free. But this collection did have something pretty interesting. By the way, I'll tell you guys what I paid. I offered him $65. There's only 24 comics, I think he counted. And if they were all like the cover, it would have been worth 24 cents, if not just completely free. But there was one book in here. This is why you do that looking, guys. This is why you do that hunting, because you may run into an absolute trash, worthless collection that might have one book in there that's worth something, even in bad condition. Let's check it out here today. So I'm actually going to start with these because these weren't even in the advertisement. Um, so that's interesting. We've got a couple heavy metal magazines. Um, they're like detached and just in absolute rough condition. But interesting. Message me if you guys want that. Maybe I'll include that on one of my buys. Um, then there will be like random stuff like this. We got a Moon Knight 5 and a Moon Knight 6. I actually didn't see these in the pictures. Maybe this is something and I, I didn't know it. Moon Knight 5 and 6. We've got some random flash. Uh, random flash. Now these books are in pretty rough shape, guys. But it did have a Batman 423. Interestingly, that's not even the book I was talking about. So that's an added bonus that I didn't know was in here. So sometimes I guess these Facebook Marketplace steals work out. Uh, it's a nice uh, reader copy for sure. Holy smokes. I'm familiar with it though. Let's see if it's the first print. <laughs> Second printing. Okay. Still cool. Second printing of 423. Oh, look, it, it's detached. <laughs> oh, no. Holy smokes. Still, whatever. Like I said, guys, these books were in, like, trashy condition. But it's all going to be worth it for one book. That's not the book. <laughs> now, this I didn't see in there. This is kind of cool. We got a gold key of Uncle Scrooge. I'll have to look up just to make sure that that's not maybe a cool four color comic or something that might have some value. I know some of those Donald Duck and Uncle Scrooge books can be something from once in a while. So I'll take a look at that one. All right. All right, I'll show you guys. I'm gonna show you that last. We got a Ragman number five. This is like, these are the type of books. Uh, they couldn't be 
uh, more random, quite honestly. We have the Kzar, I believe this is the mini series. One through four, yeah. Two, three, yeah, these books are rough condition, yikes. Four of Kzar, very nice. But then we have some little oddballs. We got a Savage She-Hulk, um, number six. And then we have a Spidey something. Uh, let's see what it says. Um, Spidey Super Stories, issue 28. That's like ripped on the front cover. Move that over here. See if there's anything hiding in here. We got uh, some Whiz Kids, a completely random Punisher. Yeah, guys, this crappy beat up to death Green Lantern is the one comic he decided to put on the cover. Uh, we got a Betty and Veronica, an Archie. This is kind of cool, I suppose. Uh, we got a Hulk and Power Fist team up annual. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Um, yeah, this is all collectively worth not very much <laughs> until we get to this book. Let's get to it. Not this one, but this one. Coincidentally, it is his nicest book in the entire lot. A newsstand copy of New Mutants. New Mutants? Whew. New Teen Titans number two. New Teen Titans number two, that right there in that condition is already worth about three times what I paid for this collection. Granted, all this other stuff is total fluff, but sometimes you buy a fluff Facebook Marketplace collection just to get a new Teen Titans number two. Let's see if it's so good that it's almost submittable. Mm -hmm. I think with a press, I could honestly get this to like a 9.0, maybe a 9.2. Not bad, guys. Although, if we're being honest, I think I'm going to keep this raw. I already have a 9.8 of this in my collection. It's actually going out to be signed by Marv Wolfman right now. Very nice. Looks like white pages. Solid book. Funny that that was the nicest one in the whole collection, and a good thing, too. As always, guys, this is why you keep on hunting.